We're here with Terry Breen, who is the EMC Senior Vice President of Strategic Alliances. Uh, Terry, welcome. Thank you. So nice Terry's, you. Terry's former Accenture, right? So they're hiring, they keep hiring more and more smart guys at, at EMC. So <laughs> good to have you on theCUBE. This is a place where we share knowledge. So, you know, one of the things we heard Howard Elias talk about uh, in the analyst briefing that I was, uh, I was at, always talks about not competing with service provider partners. Um, first of all, why is that important to EMC? Well, I think we try and stick to our core, and our core is we're a technology company. Our, our intent is really to power up the, uh, the uh, service providers and not compete with them. We also would like, to the extent we can, we can help them generate some demand to be a channel for them, uh, help them bring business. So we want to make it, make it very clean, such that uh, you know, we're not in their business, but we can very much power up their business. So how's that work? I mean, it, it, will you guys actually transfer IP to service provider partners, for well, example? The, yeah, the intent is we sit down with our service providers, we understand their business, we sit down and discuss it, how they're trying to launch it. The first thing we do is we look at how do we help them architect the overall technology solution, so we bring in our experts on that. But then we also look at how they're trying to go to market, and is there a way that we as a company that has pretty good footprint in the marketplace, can we help them drive some demand into their business? And to the extent we can, we'd be happy to do it to those that are, are really standardizing on our technology. What do you, what do you consider a service provider? There's a, there's like a <laughs> multi-faceted, multi-headed monster. I mean, uh, talk about that a little bit. Well, we, it's, it's, a great, it's a great question. We talk about it a lot as a company because it, at first we, we originally thought service provider was a, type of, was a type of company, and in reality it's not. It's really a type of business. Uh, and they're all the way from, there are pure play companies that have launched just to be a, a cloud hosters. Uh, Savvis, Terramark, Rackspace are good examples of that. Then there are outsourcers like CSC and T-Systems that are great examples. Then there are SIs like Capgemini and Accenture. There are uh, vertical players like uh, GE Healthcare, there are banks. So all of them have a, a version of their, or, or a portion of their business that is what we call a service fighter, which is really delivering some business out on the, uh, on the cloud. Terry, I have a question for you. You know, the big, the big discussion in the marketplace is the, the notion of partnerships. Um, EMC has VCE, a big partnership, joint venture. Um, you're seeing open source things like Hadoop that are very uh, community driven and um, is creating a huge amount of innovation. Um, Michael Capellas told us at uh, the analyst meeting that he hasn't seen this kind of disruption since you know, blade computing and client server before that. And, and Joe Tucci even today talking about waves of disruption. Um, you, you've had a stellar career at Accenture for some of those disruptions. Can you talk about what's going on in the marketplace around partnerships? And there's some fear out there of vendors going alone and you know, owning the stack and that's always kind of been an interesting dynamic with service delivery. Can you talk about that, what's happening in the market? Well, I think there are two approaches out there. There are a number of companies, a couple of them to name, like IBM and Oracle and HP, that are trying to really deliver their entire stack all the way from applications to services to infrastructure. And then there are companies like, like Cisco and, and EMC and SAP and others that are, are really, I want to call best of breed at their layer of technology or services. And I think what, what we are trying to do in, is really to put together those best of breed into a, a delivery mechanism that the customer can see seamlessly and it's not overly complicated. And that last part is very important. You know, uh, to compete against a vertical stack like an IBM, then we have to show up not only with best of breed of technology, but we have to show up and know how to act together, how to price it together, how to deliver it together. And uh, I think we're in an environment right now where the services type companies out there, the SIs, the ISV, the software companies, uh, the infrastructure companies like us and Cisco are working very, very hard to put together uh, campaigns and, and solutions where we can bring it to market and, and, and look like essentially one virtual company coming together. You know, people talk about that 70, 30 mix, 70% of the IT investment goes to running the business and 30% goes to innovation. Yeah. Um, and there's always the, the vision that we're going to change that. And I've been in this business for a while. Do you think it's possible that cloud actually is the, the lever to change that, or are we just going to be sort of hamsters on a wheel? That's a great question, because uh, you know, I've been in this business for 27, 28 years, over, over 28 years, and I think that ratio hasn't changed much in 28 years. I think a lot of us would like to think that the leverage that we're going to see from the cloud is going to allow us to um, spend less time on not only uh, maintenance, but also on migration. A lot of that maintenance cost is really migration to the new. And to the extent it can help us bring down the migration costs, I think we can bring that percentage down. But it's a great question. I think we're all pursuing it. Uh, time will tell. Yeah. On the product side, you know, in the marketplace, are you seeing any particular use cases where the delivery formula in this new model with EMC 
uh, working effectively well? I mean, obviously, partnerships and enablement, you know, is about competition. You guys have been publicly saying you're not going to compete with your partners. That's pretty been clear message. What is, what's been working? What's the kind of shiny light in, in the market? Well, what we're really trying to do is, if you think about alliances in general, uh, historically, alliances were primarily uh, to help either party advance a transaction they were trying to close. And although that's important, it's not particularly strategic in, in creating brand new demand. What we're trying to do is really team with our partners proactively, create solutions, and go to market together. A good example would be that, and something we're announcing later today with CSC, is CSC has a, an offering called BizCloud. Uh, and, and, and BizCloud is really a, a very innovative offering around CSC, CSC to uh, help bring an enterprise to the cloud very, very quickly, make the hurdle very low, utility price it, but make the, the, uh, the decision to try something on the cloud a very easy decision. We've partnered with them. We're going to power it up primarily with our technology. We're going to go to market with them. It's being announced here in this conference. So how do you work with customers and partners to help clients understand where they should start? I mean, what applications should they put into the cloud? Well, you know, again, we're a technology company, and, and you talk about the journey to the cloud, that's where we're very dependent upon our partners, like a CSC, like an Accenture, like a Capgemini, like a T-Systems. Uh, we're really relying a lot on them to do the journey management. They have the expertise to do that. They're, they're very good at that. We're very good at powering up the infrastructure, and so the, that, that's where the marriage is, is quite, is, works quite well, where we really rely them on to manage the journey. We'll just power it up. So you mentioned um, a number of different types of businesses that are service providers. Um, and obviously we hear a lot about Accenture and, and CSC and the, the big guys, but if I'm a more of a vertical market company, I'm a smaller company, how should I think about working with, with EMC uh, as, as a partner? Well, I think if you um, take, take certain verticals, you take a look at the medical, the medical area where there's some in, incredible creation of uh, new technology that drives huge amounts of data through imaging and CAT scans and, and um, MRIs, et cetera. Um, we're looking at that space quite aggressively. Uh, that would be a great space for a vertical uh, you know, equipment company, uh, companies like the GE Healthcare, the Toshibas, the, the Philips of the world. You know, can we work with them and we team with them to help our infrastructure wrap around their imaging uh, technology and bring a solution you know, into a primary care? Uh, Dave, we just want to just welcome some uh, Justin.tv and all our syndicated folks out there watching. We're here at EMC World, and uh, we have 1,200 viewers right now on uh, the live stream. So, Terry, we have an expanded audience now. Uh, to want to know about the cloud and big data, what is the bottom line? We've got all this impact going on in the marketplace. You've seen these big waves of, of change. Um, PlayStation got hacked. That was big news last week and the week before. Um, Amazon failed. Gaming is evolving, open source software. Talk about the, the technology paradigm that's going on now that, that you're seeing that's going to enable uh, more services and more value. Well, I think what I, you know, again, I, my view is primarily as an industry guy as not as a technologist, but what I view the cloud is the cloud uh, is going to simplify the transition to new technology, but at the end of the day, what's going to drive the adoption is going to be the application layer. Uh, applications generally drive infrastructure, not the reverse. And so what I'd like to see uh, happening in the next um, you know, couple of quarters is to have our IS ISV partners really re-architect some of their apps to be able to optimize in the cloud environment. To the extent that takes place and we develop new apps for the cloud, I think the, the cloud, uh, uh, if you will, ramp up rate will accelerate rapidly. We've been talking about the, the uh commentating wikibon.org's research group in SiliconANGLE covering the private cloud. Private cloud is interesting because it's nice data center conversation, but with the recent Amazon outage where the cloud just crashed, services disappeared, Quora, a lot of Web 2.0 services. So, so that's an impact to business. How do you guys look at that? Does that scare people or does that move people to the hybrid cloud? Well, when you think about the cloud, the cloud is really three layers of it. At least I look at it. I look at it as a private cloud, a hybrid cloud, a public cloud. And, and I look at most enterprises that we're dealing with, um, quite frankly, not only are they going to have a check in all three of those boxes, they're probably going to have a check in a more traditional infrastructure environment. So they're going to have really, they're going to have traditional, they're going to have, they're going to have private, they're going to have some hybrid, they're going to have some public. And I think you got to look at the, uh, the, the type of applications and businesses that you want to run in each of those versions and you pick the right, the right uh, if you will, box for each of those applications or businesses to uh, fit that profile. But I think all companies are going to have a, my view, will have a check in all four of those boxes. 
So when I think about EMC's uh, services business and its partners business, and I think about the, the global services industry, I mean, it's enormous. I mean, talk about hundreds of billions of dollars in, in revenue. Um, collectively, is your goal to be the biggest, the best, or both? The biggest or the best of what? Of, of the service providers, of that, you know, whether it's outsourcing or cloud service providers or consulting, well, how okay. do you look at that? Keep in mind, again, our, our, our agenda is not to be a service provider, our agenda is to power them up. So our goal would be to be the primary technology provider to the dominant, the world-class service providers. Our intent is not to compete with them at all. We're not a services company. We do have some services expertise that primarily our SPs and out there are making use of to adjunct their skills or to bring in specialized services around our technology. But our intent is, is not to compete at all. Our intent is to uh, completely power them up. Yeah, so, so observers should look at this as sort of a collection of partners, right? <clears throat> that, that, uh, that essentially is going to market with a technology provider, a ser series of technology providers that is going to compete with the big players in the industry, the IBMs, the Perot's, the um, the, the more vertically, HP's now, ver more vertically inter integrated suppliers. Is that the right way to look at it? Exactly the right okay. way to look at it. Okay. What, is, what is the EMC show about, Terry? This, this culture we're living in right now about cloud and big data is, is depicted by mobile devices. You've got iPhones, you've got Android, people are gaming. Xbox is becoming a preferred interface for young children. And, and the big trend of consumerization is driving this. What are the big things that you're seeing here and in your, in your view, in your, your, your career, the consumerization of IT, how does that affect this? Oh, in a great way, let me give you an example. Take a look at um, you know, analytics and the ability to take analytics and, and really mining data out on the cloud. And if you think about it, there's, there's several layers. You could have data that's going to be proprietary to a company that could be data that is brought to uh, that company by way of a service provider. Then there could be some public data, but then there's also um, you know, there's data that can be mined out of the, the Facebooks of the world that is wonderfully insightful, innovative in real time, particularly on consumer product oriented type of companies. So what I find fascinating is the ability to look at that tiering of data that's proprietary, that's semi-public, that's public, and it's also in that, um, that I'll call it the Facebooks of the world and mine all that, and we can provide some incredibly insightful uh, information back into our enterprises. I have, uh, I have four kids and I have a teenager and you know, they love Xbox, they love Call of Duty. Um, and it's funny, they watch the news and you know, Osama bin Laden has been killed by commandos and they're all over the news. This new gaming environment, social media with Facebook is changing the user interface. This is going to have a direct impact to how workers work. So we were talking last night about how the preferred interface, the network might be like Xbox, might be like, uh, you know, Angry Birds. So, how's that going to change the, de the delivery of IT um, yeah, software? You talked about applications. Do you have a, a view on that user interface and that change? The personal computer revolution has passed. We're now at the mobile revolution. That's going to affect a lot of Accenture-like business. There's a lot of delivery and a lot of new stuff. There's no doubt it is, and, and uh, I'm not sure it makes any sense for any of us to try and predict that device. Because I think that we're, the whole idea is, uh, is to be able to adapt to all the devices. You made mention of Xbox being made. I look at my my family, and my family it's 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 an iPad environment. You know, all the way from my nine year old to my twenty year old and my wife, they uh, they're consumed by the iPad. The iPad is always in someone's lap accessing it. And to some, it's the uh, it's the BlackBerry, or some it's the, the Xbox, or the Wii, or the Wii. Yeah. So I think the the key to it is that the the uh, it's got to be completely device independent. How about virtualization? Let's not try and predict that. How about the virtualization on the iPad? One of the hottest things I think that's, to me, crystallized this virtualized desktop environment has been the iPad. The iPad and mobility, it's just getting faster and faster. I saw a 4G Verizon LTE demo. We did a speed test, 23 meg down on Verizon. I was watching ESPN Live on a, on a new app. I was gaming. I mean, that's pretty intense. Yeah. So, so, is there anything that you, that you see that's the hottest thing that, that you advise your partners and your clients to pay attention to? Is it process? Is it the tech? Is there any best practices you can share on how to navigate those waters? No, again, I think the thing that we're, uh, probably the best advice I'd give is, again, being an infrastructure provider is helping to figure out how to drive the app level. Um, because I'm a, I'm a big believer that the apps drive the infrastructure. And we got to get, you know, to the extent that we can get more innovative applications, particularly cloud-based applications, I think this thing is going to take off. 
I'd love to sit here and say that the infrastructure is going to drive the adoption, but it's not. It's the apps that drives the adoption. And that's why, you know, the partnerships with the, you know, the SAPs of the world and, the, uh, and then the startups of the world are incredibly important. So, Terry, what's it like uh, being at EMC? You're coming from, uh, from a company like Accenture, long, rich history, um, high-level consultants, you know, EMC technology <coughs> company. What, what's, uh, what's the culture uh, uh, like? Is it, a, is it a shock to you? Is it, uh, is it changing? <laughs> Yeah, they're, they're very different. You know, I, I, I did 26 years at Accenture. I, I enjoyed it a lot. It was a great place to work. I learned a lot. Um, what I enjoy about EMC, EMC is a very action-oriented company. Um, you know, we, uh, we, like to, we like to take some risk. We'll put something out there, and if it's wrong, we'll fix it. And I've enjoyed the speed in which uh, we make decisions at EMC and take things to market. So it's been a fun year. I've enjoyed it. I, um, I'm having a lot of fun with uh, Joe Tucci and the rest of his team. Uh, and uh, they've welcomed me with big, big arms, and I'm um, having a very good time. So here with Terry Breen, Senior Vice President of Alliances at EMC. Uh, we're talking about EMC's strategy, its position in the business. EMC's you know, stated a number of times very forcefully it does not want to compete with its service providers. We heard from Terry talk about what a service provider is. It's really, um, in, in his view, a, a type of business. Um, uh, uh, and, and there are a lot of different types of businesses out there. You're talking about, uh, we talked about outsourcing, we talked about cloud service providers, we talked about consulting. So um, it really was a very insightful uh, overview of EMC's view of the world. EMC's, again, strategy is not to compete, it's to complete. Uh, and we're seeing collectively that EMC and its partners' strategy is to really compete with the big players um, uh, as an ecosystem. So, Terry, thanks very much for coming on theCUBE. 